If you want a great career, you're going to have to create it. This is Board Tilt by Praxis. So last week I was recording an episode of this very podcast and somewhere about two thirds of the way in, I lost my train of thought and just sort of stopped for a minute. And I picked up on a kind of different train of thought and finished up, but it wasn't, it wasn't where I thought I was going to go with it. And I forgot what it was, you know, some, I'm sure it was a groundbreaking life changing point I was about to make. And it just reminded me of something that means a lot to me. And that is the idea that content that the content of ideas and the content of your personal character are so much more important than the delivery mechanism or the polish or the fine points of how things are delivered. Now, that loss of train of thought is not the first time. I'm sure you've noticed many times on this podcast where you know, I interrupt myself or I stumble. I had somebody offer to edit out all of my ums and awkward pauses mouth noises, you know, sirens in the background, because inevitably every time you go to record something, a siren drives by. Or my kids being kids in the background, sometimes that gets picked up. Imperfections. And I said no, not because I am, you know, sort of committed on principle to having errors and being real and transparent or any of that stuff, but for a couple reasons. One, because I know how I am, and I know that if I obsessed over incredibly perfect production value and doing multiple takes until I got it right and all that stuff, the amount of mental work wouldn't necessarily involve a lot more time for me, but the amount of mental work involved in this podcast would get so high to where I would start to dread it, I wouldn't enjoy it, and I probably wouldn't do it as much. And it would be uh, inefficient. It just wouldn't work well. So I just want to be able to do these quick hits. I do them in one take every time. I usually never have notes. Usually it's after I've taken a walk and an idea from my own experience or observations bubbles up into my head and I want to share it when it's fresh for me because I'm betting on the fact that if it's real and fresh for me, that that moment of, oh, oh, this is an interesting thought. Oh, this is powerful. This is a good reminder. The moment that it feels valuable for me is when it has the highest likelihood of feeling valuable to you, the listener. And furthermore, I don't want people listening to this podcast or liking me or Praxis or my ideas or books or any of that stuff because, oh, he's very, he's a very good communicator. Now, of course, I would love it if you think that I have a voice like silk covered in honey or maybe like gravelly smoky honey, like a classic rocker, which is my true destiny. Of course, that's, that's awesome. The part that matters most, though, is the content, the content of the ideas. And if you find them inspiring, interesting, I want you to take that away. You know, I, I have heard speakers before where you can walk away from an event and say, oh, that was the best speaker. Amazing. Love it. They left me feeling really positive and very impressed by their ability as a speaker. And then you ask the person, well, what did you take away? What action items are you going to take? What, what action are you inspired to take? What was the main idea? Um, you know, it was something about, you know, something. It was really good. I don't want that to be me. And of course, this doesn't mean I'm going to deliberately make mistakes and, you know, lose my train of thought and be imperfect and I'm not going to practice. None of that stuff. It just means what matters most is the content. If you go up and give a talk, if you forget your opening line, will you still be able to deliver a talk that both in content of the ideas and in the aura that you sort of put off on stage, the content of who you are, because people can sense that, will it still be effective? Will it still be effective? You don't want to make mistakes. You want to, to, to me, I see good communication skills as removing distractions rather than adding bells and whistles. You know, if you're making weird noises or saying, um, or rocking back and forth awkwardly or using too many hand gestures, which I am guilty of all the time, those distract so you want to get those out of the way, but even if you don't, will it still pack the punch? And I want you to, if you enjoy this podcast, I want it to be because you take away some ideas that you find useful. You don't agree with them all. They're not all perfect. It's not the, but because you find something informational or inspirational there that has value and meaning to you. Now I'm losing my train of thought again. I did not plan to lose my train of thought just to make my point here. 
nor was it a good idea for me to point out the fact that sometimes I make noises with my mouth or say, um, because now you're tuned in and you're listening for them. And I feel like my margin of error is shrinking. The, the core point here though, is to focus on content. That's 80, that's 90% of it. I've run a public speaking workshop. That was the point I was going to make. Ah, there was my train of thought. I was going to mention the public speaking workshop. I've run a public speaking workshop that I totally copied from somebody else who did it phenomenally well. And I was a part of it for many years. And it's really all about the technique, how to stand in a way so that you don't, you know, start to rock back and forth or, you know, your knees lock and you pass out and how to, you know, use your hands effectively and it's sort of the, the technical stuff. And it's very easy to focus on that exclusively, but really 90% of what makes a good talk or hopefully a good podcast or anything else, good writing, is that it's material that you know. As Hemingway said, it's one true sentence, the truest thing you know. It's something that you know inside and out, you've experienced, it resonates with you. In the public speaking workshop, I like to use the example of, you know, even if you're given a topic that's you know, externally, you don't know anything about it. You're, you're told to give a talk on accounting and you don't know anything about accounting rather than get up there and pretend and fake it and worry about, Oh, I hope I don't get embarrassed. I want to, okay, I'm going to try to remember anything I know about accounting and try to save face and come across looking polished and basically deceiving people into giving them an image of yourself that looks better than the reality. No, 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 no. Get down to the reality. Give them the raw and varnished reality. Make it real. Tie it to your experience. Hey, I don't know anything about accounting in terms of formal accounting, but I know this. You know, when I was a kid, I ran a lemonade stand and I was really excited that we made $10. Uh, but part of that was because I was buying our, my own lemonade. And if I would have understood accounting, I would have realized that's not a profitable business model. Okay, that's funny. It's original. It's got something real in it. It's something you know. You're speaking from a place of authority because nobody knows your story better than you. So focus on the content of your ideas and the content of your character first and foremost. And only after you feel comfort in that, when you're going to write or talk or do an interview, when you're comfortable that you know who you are and you know your experiences and you know the place you're coming from and that's what you're going to talk about, now you can focus on those little, you know, removing those little distractions, removing the verbal tics, improving eye contact, distributing your eye contact across the room, all those kind of things. So for this podcast, that's one of the reasons. Again, this is not some hard and fast principle, you know, and don't, don't get mad at me someday if I improve the production quality. But I want this to be about the content. And I never want my communication ability or lack thereof to be the determining factor of whether or not there's value here. I want it to be about the ideas. And I think that has served me well in, in all the things that I've done in my writing and speaking and, and, and just presenting myself to the world. And I think it will serve you well also. Focus on what really matters. Content is king. Want more Forward Tilt? Go to discoverpraxis.com slash forward tilt to get a free ebook and every episode delivered to your inbox. Thank you.